The United States has announced that it will increase its cooperation with Central Asia in trade, economic development, the anti-terrorism fight and clean energy. That's according to U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who met the foreign ministers of Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan and Tajikistan at the second ministerial meeting held within the new format of relations between Washington and the former Soviet Central Asian Republics, known as the C5 plus 1 group. So today we hope to make further progress through a new regional approach built around initiatives on counterterrorism, trade and investment, economic development and clean energy. The United States is trying to move closer to a key region in the fight against the Islamic State, while it simultaneously confronts Russia and China in an area they consider to be their backyard. The meeting also coincides with the Central Asian Republic's 25th anniversary of independence from Moscow and the beginning of their diplomatic relationships with the United States, a period during which the countries of the region have matured, with Washington's support, according to Kazakh Foreign Minister Erlan Idrisov. The C5 plus one, uh, in our hope, uh, will have a long life, uh, irrespective of imminent natural uh, changes of political landscapes in our countries. Uh, we hope uh, for that, and uh, uh, for that matter, we lay down uh, the basic principles and priorities of our cooperation uh, for the long future. Kerry also announced that his country will invest $15 million to help the region protect itself against the effect of climate change and continue dialogue with these Central Asian nations on issues of concern, including the need for transparency and accountability in governance and the importance of basic human rights such as freedom of religion, speech and association.